Hello, everyone. My, my name is Hector Mendoza. Here's an email address if you ever want to email me and ask me questions about uh, Symbility or Xactimate. <clears throat> uh, today, what I want to do is show you how to navigate around the database to build an estimate in Symbility. And this is what I'm talking about. So in Symbility, once you, uh, you know, create a, uh, let me see, in, in Xactimate, they, they, they don't call it sketch, they call it a floor plan, and you sketch the floor plan. Okay, so uh, once you do your floor plan, then, you know, you have uh, your data, this is your database, okay? So, uh, Sibility has this database, and I'm going to show you how to use this database. So in all the other videos, I'm going to show you, um, for instance, I'm going to show you what the first icon does. It's a, it's a search, but this is what it's called. Search the database for items by keywords. Can also use to perform search for items related to similar to the current one. Okay. And then the second one, you see it, it, when you hover around it, it tells you what it is. Apply menu filter type to categories, items, actions, and grades. So the uh, third one, browse category by pictures, allows you to select a category in the item database by typing on various areas or tapping in various areas in an image of a typical floor in a house. And then you got your favorites. Uh, and then you got add selections, you got item batches, you have uh, how to add item batches to your item, to your item batches, you got your assemblies, then you got your cart view and how to add things to your cart view. So I'm not going to go into detail explaining what each one of them are, but you know, it's going to be this things right here, this item, this one, 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 and this one. So I'm going to have one video for each one because they can get long. Okay, so let me first explain how this thing works in relation to your drawing. Okay, so first of all, we're, gonna, we're talking about, you see how this thing keeps on popping right here? It's because I ex accidentally touched that yellow thing. And basically, your computer is going to look like this, okay? Now, so every time that you go to your items, which is your database, then, you know, you see my, my uh, canvas is small, and actually yours is probably going to look like this, and you, you might not be able to see a lot of the description. So what I do is I collapse my Claim Explorer, okay? Because I'm not going to be using it. All I'm doing is doing my floor plan. I don't have no business getting into that one right now. Now, if while it's collapsed, I can still go to it, and you see how it showed up, and I can select whatever floor I want. But then when I select here, it collapses back, and then this reappears. Now. If you accidentally collapse and then all of a sudden you're like, ah, oh, man, this is uh, it's too confusing, then all you have to do is click here and you see this little pin, just click on it. Now all of a sudden you're back to where you were. Okay, so I wanted to explain that. Same thing down here. You have your quantities. Um, so let me, exp while I'm here, let me explain what quantities does. Right now it's telling me what all the walls inside this whole canvas you see right now I got uh, 5,397 look if I add something to this now on my walls I got if if now I got 3,717 see and I delete it you see it changes to 5,397 so whatever you have in this canvas it's going to tell you what all the walls are, what all the linear footage of, uh, what your linear feet of square feet of doors are, of windows, of openings, missing walls, subflooring, 
ceiling per, uh, perimeter or oh, perimeter floor. Huh. Wait a second. You know, I was looking for that earlier today. Oh, the, oh that perimeter of the floor and of this one here, it's all the perimeter of the floors. And this is a perimeter of the ceiling. Okay, so uh, that's not what I was looking for. Anyway, so <clears throat> keep that in mind. Cause we're gonna, I won't have to discuss that uh, in in later in this one. Okay, so now we're ready to start estimating. Like I was talking to you earlier, you see this can be moved back and forth, so you can read more, right? You see this right here. So this is how the search engine works. If you click in here and you can you can type you know DRY and then let's say you also want uh ceiling. Now it's gonna all everything here either has the word ceiling in it, uh oh uh ceiling, drywall, or texture. The more you put in there the more this list gets okay so if you just want to all you weren't uh okay I, I, I should stop going all the way down there because uh, see I can't go any further than that right there because if I touch that thing that thing appears okay so if you just want drywall DRY everything has the word drywall is listed right here now so you see this this book right here this is your whole database right there that takes you back all the way to the front and now while you're here you know first of all everything is alphabetical order and if you know exactimate you probably know commands like dry okay so you see how drywalls right here now watch this look what i'm going to do i'm going to type dry and look right here on this corner right here i selected it you got five set, well i have mine set to five uh i don't know if y'all have gone over i have a video about setting your preferences and that was one of the settings that i uh, told y'all what to set because you know if you if you if you type dry you know you know like up there if you type dry that right here might only appear for two seconds on yours on mine it take it i got it set to five seconds i like that so you know so now all i gotta do is type dry and i can i got five seconds to select it now i double click and now so here's the category uh let me see uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Okay, excuse me. Okay, the green one is your data book. Okay, the second one would be your category. And then if I clicked here, double click and selected one of those subcategory, then it would be listed here. So you got database, category, subcategory of the uh, category that you're picking okay so this is this tells you where you're at in this whole database okay now so <clears throat> if I select the drywall one half inch uh, let me see right here okay uh, well it doesn't matter uh, drywall ceiling okay now if I click every time I click and click it expands it so if I click here and I click here uh, if it has a, a sub uh, subcategory of it it will uh, expand it okay just like that and if you don't want all those subcategories expanded then you can deselect them so right now we're dealing with drywall and ceiling one half right so if I click here if you want to know what you're paying for there you see this little line right here 
there's this little dotted line right here. I don't know if you can see it. If you click on this thing, it opens up this little, uh, it, on yours it probably opened up like this. I have mine uh, where I know my categories, so I don't need, I don't need the categories. I know what they are. Uh, I, you know, I got, man, I'm not, I, I got four years of experience, so I've been doing this for four years, so I constantly have read it for the first three years. But you're going to have to read it until you know what this stuff is. But I just wanted to show you how to collapse, expand, and collapse that, that category. Now, another thing is underneath that category is your line items. So now let's start adding some line items. And I'm going to explain how this thing works. Okay, so I am going to uh, <clears throat> show you a few things. First of all, I'm going to uh, expand it. The difference between remove and tear out are two different things, okay? You're not going to select everything and move this over and do an estimate because First of all, you cannot remove and tear, okay? It, it, uh, it's two different categories, okay? So, not categories, two items. To remove something is doing it carefully. That's why it costs 32 cents a square feet. If you're going to tear it off, it's only 29 cents a square foot. You said, okay, well, heck, that's only three cents a square foot. It is a lot when you have a bunch of items. Some of them could be a dollar. Some of them could be six dollars. We're just talking about uh, drywall right now. So the difference between those two is the 32, they're paying you for you to take extra caution and care in removing that drywall. So in other words, let's say you have uh, a backsplash. And then you got some chip rock that you have to drywall that you have to replace. You got to remove that real delicately so you don't damage the the uh, backsplash. So you would have to remove that ceiling. Okay. Well, I mean, but it's not ceiling. But I'm just explaining that you know because it doesn't matter if it's ceiling. It doesn't matter if it's walls. The remove and tear out. Is what I'm uh, talking about. Okay, so let's say that I'm tearing this whole room off, and it doesn't, you know, you, we're just gonna bam, 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 tear it out. Then you're gonna tear it out because there's no care. There's nothing that you have to worry about. You're gonna remove everything. So, uh, in most cases, if you're doing repairs, you're probably gonna remove. Because you got to be careful what you're removing. You don't want to tear stuff up like, uh, you know, you just got to be careful. So I wanted to show you the difference between those two. Now, now that we know, so on everything I'm going to use re, uh, remove throughout this whole training thing. So I'm going to hold my shift key so I can show you. And if, let's say I got to remove and I hit replace. Everything selects. That's not what you want, right? So this time, uh, I'm going to hit remove. I'm going to hold my control key. And I'm going to select the first one and the second one. You see how it skipped it? Now, if I held my control key, I could select something else. But this is all that we want to re re remove and replace. Now, to do your estimate, this is how you're going to do it. If it's the ceiling, what's going to happen when you select one of those rooms is going to turn blue because all you're doing is selecting. And the machine knows that you're not going to do the walls, so it's not going to select the walls because it knows the ceiling is the ceiling part of this diagram. So watch this. I'm going to click. See, it's 152.17 square feet. This one is 193.8 uh, 
time two. Now watch this. If I go right here to my canvas, now I've got 1,906 square feet. So if you look right here, right here uh, on ceiling, you're going to see right here. See? 1911 is the same number as you see right here that one in red, that 191106. Okay, so we're not going to do nothing. So I'm going to do a couple of them so that I can show you here. I'm going to move this because I, I want to make mistakes. Okay, so I'm going to select only this room. I'm going to select this room. I uh, shouldn't have touched that. I'm going to select that room. Okay. Now, you see right here, it's adding the estimate, right? Well, you can't see too much of that. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this and move it up. And it's telling you every, right now, it's just telling me about this room. Everything that I have put in this room is telling me what I've done. So let's say that, uh, okay, so now look, if you accidentally click on the canvas, wow, you lost everything. Well, you really didn't lose it. All you did was deselect that room, so it only, you have to have a room selected in order for it to show up in your uh, items. Now, if you notice here, you see how there's two items listed? Because there's only two items that you've placed so far in this room. Now look at this. If I select, er select everything, now I got six items. And so is putting them here by room category, okay? You can't see it here, but when you go to your estimate, this one here is going to show up in the master bedroom. This one here, or wherever you have it selected, is going to show up accordingly. So now, so remember, if you deselect, all of a sudden you're going to lose it. Don't don't think you've lost it because you know it's what you've added. Okay, now, so let me let me show y'all. Uh, so that was. Now I'm going to show you about um let's let's talk about so that ceiling now let me show you about walls so drywall that was ceiling so let's go to walls and let's pick uh walls one half now if I hit remove and replace if I select now you see how the walls are being selected so if you see it's 4756.24 square feet of walls because you're selecting everything because you're selecting the canvas and that selects everything so um so that's if you were going to do every room with that particular category and it's selecting only your walls so uh or let's say i wanted to do that room now i would release and then i would grab it again and i would put it in my garage or wherever i wanted to put it then i'd add to my living room and let's say i had it to my master bedroom now while you have this selected so if i select here now look now I got drywall and I got ceiling. Okay, so let's uh, let's um, let's go and, and, and put some uh, uh, flooring. So CC. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, no floor covering for FC floor. You see FC is it's like exactimate FC. Let me see. FC flooring. So there's your floor coverings. You expand your floor coverings. Now you got your carpet, you got your ceramic, vinyl, wood. So let's go ahead and add some, uh, a little bit of uh, carpet. So we'll just call it, uh, uh, not carpet pad, uh, carpet. 
uh, you know, you can use ITIL. Uh, let me see what kind of carpet. I'm just going to put carpet and pad, and I'm going to put good. Okay, and I'm going to remove and control replace. Um, and now you see you have other different things you can do to this. Okay, so with carpet, I'm going to click and drag. Now you see you see the icon that it gives you now. It's a little light blue with little red dots in there. That's the one. That's when you know you have carpet there. So I could select there, go to the uh, not the garage living room, and let's say master bedroom. Okay, now now when you click here, now you have six items there, and it explains for each one of them. Like in the uh, drywall ceiling to re remove. It's 193.32 a square, uh, you know, and the price is 132 per square feet. Same, you know, and it explains everything. Now, if you select everything, now it's going to tell you everything. Right now, we got 20 items that we have placed inside this uh, estimate so far. <clears throat> um, let, let me look at my notes and see if I uh, have uh, not. Okay, open database, adjust panels, uh, what you might want to see. Okay, drop all, green, move, uh, remove with care. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> now one thing I want to caution y'all, I'm going to go to my database and I'm going to go to exterior, okay? Uh, uh, exterior, I just saw exterior, interior, exterior finishings. And okay, a second, still here. Let me, oh, I want I want to go to siding. Okay, so let's go to you know, PTRS siding. And I'm just gonna pick um, aluminum siding. Okay. Uh, and it's just going to be, uh, let's pick uh, seamless siding, a little one. Okay, so <clears throat> so if I, you know, click remove and replace, now <clears throat> aluminum siding, you got to be real careful because if I click here, and I select this, look, it says 4,756.24, because I'm, I'm, I wanted to, I was hoping that it would select everything in the exterior, but that's not what it's doing. It's selecting all your walls. So, so, um, you see right here, walls. So, if you're going to do siding, now, you could go in here and just select this one wall here select that one wall select that one wall or so what i did was i went ahead and created another floor plan it's a duplicate of what you see underneath this and i use this just for my exterior because i wanted to explain to you all uh about this calculations now if somebody knows something about uh, civility and I'm, if I'm wrong in this and I'm, I'm not reading into this as much as I should, look, if I go in here and I click here, you see where it says 1,682.66? If you look right here on walls, it's 1,682.66. What the machine is actually doing it's getting the inside walls, okay? But if you do inciting, this 12 is not 12. It's really 12, 8 because you got 4 inches here. You got 4 inches here. And this 132, now that, that's the correct number because you see the 4 inches here? They're adding it down here. And that, that number is correct. 
but you see this 13 that's not that's incorrect because it's really 13 feet 8 inches and and the reason I know is because you see when 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 you select this and you see the walls 1682 66 it added this number this number this it didn't add the exterior and to to verify that what I did was I created this Excel file I keyed in every one of these numbers okay into this Excel file that I created so if you notice there's 12 inches 0 feet 1 uh, 13 feet 2 inches 13 feet 2 inches and then I created this little thing that would calculate my it would convert it to uh, inches a uh, feet and inches so it's added everything and this is what the total was now so so then what I did was I went and uh, now I got a calculator here uh, that uh, it's a special calculator I use for uh, estimating okay so so I added all this right here right so now watch this 210 feet 4 inches times 8 feet equals One thousand six hundred eighty-two sixty-six square feet. So it's only talking about the inside. It didn't do the and and there is no exterior in this parameters. So when you use that and you click this and you put it here. You're cheating them with a few, you know, square foot. I don't think it's going to be more than 20 or 30 square feet, but, uh, you know, that's as close as uh, simbility as you can without going in and uh, doing it all manually. They, that could take a while. Okay, so let me see what else. Um, uh, PNT, PNT, I got that. If you okay, another thing. So I was hoping that uh, simbility was uh, a little. Well, there's a lot of things I wish that would change, but I'm, I'm not. I don't work in there. But so let me go to category. Let me go to. Uh, Uh, let's go to painting again, uh, or let's go to drywall. Here you see it's better go this way, DIY. Click right here, goes to drywall, double click. We're going to go to ceiling and walls. We're going to go to first. Now I'm going to make this thing real big so we can. Um, so there's drywall one half and ceiling one half. Okay, so I was hoping you could do this, but you can't. So I get. Click on ceiling, remove. Uh, okay. okay, there we go. Hold my control key, my control key, my control key. I was hoping you could get two items at one time and put them in here, but you can't. So check this out. See, you know why? Because one of them is ceiling and one of them is drywall now in a new video i'm going to show you how that is possible and that is called uh batches okay you see this thing right here but we're not going to talk about that today uh, well maybe today but in a different video let me see what else i, I might have forgot to talk to you about let me see that. And, yeah that's uh that's it for this video Watch my other videos because my other videos, I'm going to talk about every one of these things in detail. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. Here's my email address. This is my name, Hector Mendoza. See you on the next video.